everybody. Welcome to Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen. I'm Chef Randy. Prairie Street Prime is your premier kosher meat experience. Today we're going to be talking about short ribs. Short ribs is one of my favorite things to braise and that's how we're going to do that today. We're going to braise but we're going to braise outside. You could braise inside and we could braise outside. But let's take a look at these short ribs. Okay, so short ribs are one of the most unctuous, wonderful pieces of meat. And if you look at these, you can see all of this marbling going on in here. This is the highest quality that you can get. And all that marbling is what's going to happen is when that breaks down, it's going to create this tender, juicy, unctuous, wonderful, beautiful piece of meat. And the sauce is just going to be so wonderful. And it's just going to be the greatest eating experience. And these are wonderful. I mean, this is, these are looking fantastic. So I'm going to make a little bit of a rub going to go with some salt and pepper, kosher salt, a little bit of pepper, and then what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of Hungarian paprika, a little bit of dried oregano, and then just kind of mix that together. And then I'm just going to sprinkle this onto the meat. We're going to do all sides of these. So these short ribs are a cross cut of the short plate. So what that means is there's three bones. All right, there's a bone here, a bone here, and bone here. And what that is also going to do, it's going to give a ton of flavor to the broth. So we'll flip these over. You can see all this marbling on both sides. A Little bit of rub. You don't need a lot of this rub, just a little bit of seasoning. Dried oregano can be can be pretty aggressive, so that was probably like a teaspoon, not a lot. A little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and then I like to take this and then with all the rest of this rub, I just kind of go all over, roll it around on the plate, try to get all this salt pepper on here. So this is something you could also do with a chunk of a brisket. And it would be great with a brisket. You could do the same flavor profiles, braise it slowly, and you'd have just about the same wonderful results. We're going to head over to the grill. I've got a cast iron pot on the grill. This is going to work just like an oven at home. So I have this on high right now because I want to sear these short ribs. Okay. So I've got a little bit of olive oil, two or three tablespoons of olive oil. And you can see this is screaming hot and I want to sear these. And the reason why I want to sear these is because I want to develop a crust and it's going to add a ton of flavor to my sauce. Anytime you sear meat like this, it just develops an incredible amount of flavor. It gives you umami flavor, which is one of those flavors that is kind of like a flavor of satisfying you. Uh, it's earthy. It's wonderful. Okay. So those will sear for a couple minutes. The other things we're going to add is we've got some sliced uh, white onion. We've got some fire roasted diced tomatoes and I have a vegetable stock. I like using a vegetable stock because it's kind of, it adds a lot more vegetable flavor to it. It kind of brings everything together. We're going to have a ton of, of uh, meat broth when, when these roast because you'll have the bones, you've got the fat, you've got the salt, the pepper and the spices. All right, so this is what we're looking for. See how quick that was? That's beautiful. It's seared, caramelized, flip that over. So now what I'm going to do, I move those to the side a little bit because now I'm going to add my onions. I want to get a little bit of caramelization on my onions. And why do I want to do that? Well, onions have a lot of sugar in them. So when I start to caramelize the onions, I'm bringing the sugar out and it adds a whole different depth of flavors. And all I do is I just nestle the onions down around the short ribs. These short ribs will take about two hours. And they're probably about an inch, inch and a half thick. Now I'm going to add my tomatoes. And I'm going to add the juice too because the juice is going to be part of my sauce. So what I do is I just put them right over the short ribs. And then the rest right over the onions. Get that stirred up a little bit. At this point, I kind of just nestle everything down. 
get the onions around the short ribs. So when we're braising, we typically want to put enough liquid to cover like two thirds of the way up on the, on the meat. We don't want to completely cover it, otherwise we'd be, have too much sauce. So we're looking just about like that. I probably use like three cups. That's going to come to a, a simmer, then we're going to put the lid on it, then we're going to close the grill, and we're going to let that cook for about two hours. And then we're looking for fork tender. And we're going to look at about maybe probably 200 degrees if we were to take the temperature. But what I usually do is I stick a fork in there, and if I can twist it, and the meat starts to move a little bit, I know it's super tender. All right? So now we have our lid. Put that there. Have my grill set to about 350 degrees. And I'll come back in about an hour just to check on them. Okay, everybody, it's time to take a look at our short ribs. They've been going for about two hours, and I'm gonna check them to see if they're fork tender. So what we need to do is we open up our lid if you see in here, you can see they've really started cooking. The sauce has really started to become more gelatinous because that's because of all the, the, the fat from in there and the marbling. So I'll bring it over here, set it right here. And the way I like to test them is that they want to be fork tender. So I stick the fork in and if I turn and the meat starts to move a little bit and there's like no resistance, that's what I'm looking for. Another way to do it is we can take its temperature. We can just go in right in the center. Right now we're at about 190, which is about what we're looking for. That means this meat's gonna be super tender, just absolutely unctuous and wonderful. So, we got this. I like to take a little spatula, because this meat's gonna be super tender. Help it with a fork. And I'll serve this on a plate. You can see how that just starts to fall apart. And you'll see that the bones have started to move away and they're super tender. I got to get some of this onion and some of this sauce. I mean, and this is, this is heaven on a plate right here. Then all I need to do, a little parsley, and that's it. It's about as simple as it comes. Braising, great technique. We braised outside, you can braise inside. You could use short ribs, you could use brisket. Same flavors, just it's a beautiful way to cook. And here we go. Braised short ribs, Prairie Street Prime, highest quality short ribs. All right, so it's time to taste this. And I'm not even going to use a knife. I'm going to use a fork. Look at that. That's also another reason fork tender. And you get a little tomato. Get a little of the short rib. Mm. Unbelievable. Tender, unctuous, rich, savory. Everything you want. It is just absolutely incredible. I couldn't think of a better piece of meat to use in a Prairie Street Prime short rib. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, so thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, comment, like, hit the notification bell, and we will see you next time.